Welcome back, I'm Kimberly, and this is Floral Art Online. And I have almost no voice, but I'm going to give you a little bit of a summary on what we did for our Hunter Valley workshop this month, which is April of 2024. It was a very simple exercise of rolling leaves. I had hoped that we'd be able to use some autumn leaves because they give a little bit of color to a design but we had an enormous downfall the day before the workshop and so I wasn't able to go out and gather some leaves and it also seemed to be a little bit early for the leaves to be turning as colorfully as I would have liked so bear in mind that this is a technique that you can use with any sort of pliable leaf so if you're looking at colored leaves leaves that have just fallen from the trees um, still get them when they're a little bit pliable if not, I guess you could soak them in a little bit of water to get them pliable to make the, the roll. But let's have a look at what we did very simply for the workshop and how we utilise those rolled leaves in a number of different ways. So these are the two completed designs. I'm just going to deconstruct them so that you can see what we actually did in the workshop. So with this one, what I wanted to show the, the people there was about changing the way a vase looks. So this is a plain black uh, square ceramic uh, planter, more so than a vase. And I think you've used, seen me use it quite a number of times. Because it's black and because it's shiny, it can, it can be very dominant in a design. So we want to mask that a little bit by, by changing the way it looks. And basically all I've done here is use some double-sided tape on the corners and wrapped three strands of various wools together hoping that those colours would be mimicked in the colours that I used in the, the plant material. So it's very easy to, to chop and change. I think you've seen me do it where I've covered it with a stocking so that it, it lessens the, the glossy finish and gives it a bit more of a matte finish. We've covered it with ribbon and, and done the, the decoration with a ribbon that way. But basically that was to, to do the vase. Now, inside the vase I'll just take out a few of these to show you but I have also in another video talked about using perlite rather than floral foam so that's what's in here it's those little white I'll get some out to show you it's those little white and they retain water so this has been like this for about two weeks whilst I was unwell and didn't have a voice to do the video um, so it's retained the water so the plant material is still nice and fresh inside it now when i get tired of this plant material and i decide that it's time for it to move on to something else the perlite can be reused in terms of, of designing in a vase or you can toss it in the garden because it is a component of potting mix as well i will caution you and i think there is a video as well on using perlite in vases that you need to damp it down as you're working with it and you need you must wear dust mask and gloves because of it's it's just too easy for it to get into your system it's, it's a natural material but it's very dusty very organic in that sense so in terms of the placements the the chrysanthemums are placed directly into the perlite as is the koala fern but what i have put across the vase and i'll just make sure i can get it out without damaging too much <coughs> What I'll do is I'll take these out so you can still take these out so you can see that what I've got is a wire that has rolled leaves so you know it's basically just cutting a, a length of, of leaf and rolling it up and skewering it onto a wire any kind of wire is fine but what I've done is push the wire into either corner here so it gives me a cross bracing for the design as well as a way that I can as you would have seen I can put some of these stems through that that roll and it holds it in a place at an angle that is a bit more interesting for me than might otherwise be. I'd have to, to juggle them around if I wanted to do it any other way. So we can have them going either way. These are all a bit... the, the, the ends are broken so I won't show you that. But that's simply a way of using the rolled leaves as part of your structure but also as a decorative feature because you can have them going 
any way you like. When people look into the design, they can see that the rolled leaves are there and it makes it a little bit more interesting and a little bit more intriguing, as well as giving you, giving you the support for angling those placements in a little bit more comfortably than you might do with the perlite because the perlite will move around a little bit because it's that organic material. The second design was about using something that, that people had in their kitchen. So this was just a basically, I asked them to bring a pie dish or a casserole dish and they filled those with the curled leaves, the rolled leaves I should say. So you can see at the back here, if I take the succulent out, that I've got once again, I've rolled them onto the wire and just placed the wire within the framework of the container. Now, I also, at the front, because I didn't want to use, I actually was going to leave it like that, but it looked a little bit bare, so I threw in the succulent at the end, and perhaps what I should have done, which I'll do now, is had the succulent so it wasn't covering up that the back of that design where the the rolled leaves are. But at the front of the design <coughs> I've actually used some of the decorative wire, the mesh, and just to push that into place and what some of the participants at the workshop did is that they, rather than roll the wire onto a wire, they rolled the leaf and then they pushed it into the squares of the mesh and that gave them a double amount of structure so it stopped the leaves unrolling which was a problem for some of them because they cut the, the sections too small. So you need a section about as long as your finger um, to, to roll comfortably for that sort of size. Any flexible foliage is going to work for you. It's falling apart now. So that's a, basically a couple of ways of using the rolled leaves. This is what we did in the workshop and the participants all went home with something that they really loved. So it's an easy way for you to fill out a design to use up some of those leaves that you might otherwise not think are worthwhile putting into a design. So things like yucca leaves, flax, um, agapanthus leaves, when they're, they're fresh, cut them up, cut them down to, to about that size and width and then roll them up onto a wire or roll them and place them in the mesh and then you've got your structure to complete your design and once again it's something this way that can be done with any container that you've got at home. So I'm Kim Bailey, that's the summary for April 2024 workshop in the Humber Valley and this is Floral Art Online.